the sound test room. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. So today we're going to take a look at GarageBand and one of the new features, uh, one of the brilliant new features, and there are, there are several and I'll, I'll do uh, over the course of time, I'll cover all the new features. But first of all, we're going to look at the drummer. The drummer. Um, GarageBand is great for drums, you know, you have lots of options. Let's just create a new song here. Okay, and you'll see that uh, you now have live loops and tracks. And we'll get into live loops and another thing, that's another thing. But you still have your smart instruments here. And you still have your smart drums, which is different than the drummer. And of course, as you go along, you can still just put in your drums as well. And of course, you can add loops as well. There are, there are a lot of new loops included uh, in this updated version of GarageBand. So let's go to the drummer. So we hit drummer. Now this is like, gives you a virtual drummer to play in your own track. Now first of all, it will default to the normal eight, eight bars there. Okay, but we can by hitting this little plus button here, increase our bars to uh, now automatic didn't seem to work for me on this so it wouldn't just cut a run and run so i'd set so just for the sake of uh this we'll set it to 16 but you know you can add pretty much as many bars as you like so the whole length of the song so that's done we'll close that there and you'll see that it will increase to 16 bars now you get uh so you see you you have this this page now and this is what this first defaulted one sounds like and this drummer is called Logan. Okay, so if we open this, it explains a little bit about his style, his style of play and stuff like that, okay, so which is important. So this guy is kind of like your old style drummer, your old style rock drummer, kind of John Bonomi type thing. And uh, you, you can see what it says there anyway, but then again, you can have different drummers. You have all these different new drummers that you can choose from, and each one explains a little bit what, about what they does. But just for a moment, we'll stick with, here he is, Logan. And you see Logan has various uh, patterns here, a couple of patterns you can play with. So for instance, we can do this, so we can set play, change our pattern. Now you can't change your pattern as you're recording, but you don't really need to. Okay, so... You see that here we have fills. This would be the intensity and frequency of the fills. So if we turn it up, you're gonna get a lot of fills. So if we turn it down, we won't get too many. Kind of self-explanatory, yeah? Now here, where it says toms, we can change the variable toms. So we can, if we listen, we're gonna to get lots of interesting tom work going on. And the same for the kick and the snare. And then we can switch. We can switch on, on and off various parts of our kit here. So we can switch on some percussion. and then vary the intensity of that as well. Switch on our hi-hat instead of having loads of toms. So we can swap between different bits and pieces, see? Or symbols. Now you can do this for every single one. Now there's also another, and of course you have the, this feature is as well also here. Where it'll play softer, you know, be less complex, louder, and then complex, and complex and loud. Now there's also another feature as well. So if we just stick with that for a sec, and bearing in mind you can do this all, all, all with all the drummers, there's not much point in me showing you every single drummer. Let's, for instance, now add a smart, let's add some smart bass, okay? And we can see it's already set for our 16 bars, and we'll stick with this, and we'll set this on, uh, 
something dead dead basic there like that. Okay, so we'll just set our thing to record and I'm going to show you another cool thing you can do with the drummer. When this is recorded over its 16 bars. Which will be any second now. <laughs> So, let's go back to our thing then, you can see we have our bass line recorded, let's go back to our drummer, and now something else will appear here, this little button that says follow, and if we switch follow on now, the kick and the snare will follow the bass, so the bass line will be locked into the kick and the snare, which adds for a very syncopated, nice feel, very tight locked rhythm section going on here, so... change of the percussion. Now at this point I will say that we can change our drummer out and uh, try different different drummers and different things. But let's do that. Let's try this guy. Listen to another first. Okay, this is layer. So all these drummers have a different feel and a different different sort of technique. And different rhythms. The swing going on there, you see. We'll make it more complex. Let's make the hi-hats more complex as well. So there you go guys, there, there's some of the cool stuff you can do, and you can you can have this if you had guitar in there or keyboards, you'll get a list of what you want the bass and, and the bass and snare to follow, or of course you can have it not to follow and it just have it free running sort of thing. So I think the drummer is a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous new addition, a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous new addition to GarageBand for iOS. And like I said, there are also other cool things like the grid, that's super. Um, well, we'll get into that in, 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 in another demo. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you have uh, uh, liked the video, subscribe to the channel, visit us at thesoundtestroom.com. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.